I'm Radem Musawa. I'm an indigenous Muslim filmmaker here in the Philippines and also a human rights activist focused on uh, peace and also on uh, gender marginalized issues in the southern part of the Philippines. And yeah. I grew up in the armed conflict area where the humming of the birds is pretty much replaced with bombs, stray bullets, and the sound of cries and uh, you know chaos. So my advocacy way back was really focused on Mindanao, indigenous people, the Muslim models, and me being an openly uh, gay person because all of these really are knocking close to home. And for, for the last 10 years, I've been doing a lot of advocacy-related work, being part of a lot of organization, doing uh, programs for the gender marginalized groups, the indigenous people, and the Muslim people in the southern part of the Philippines. And later on, uh, it was the people who started calling me human rights activist. I was like, okay, whatever. Whatever you say, okay, let's continue the work. The show must go on. There's so much to do and so much things to correct. And whatever you feel, go out, dress up, and do what you have to do. And do what you think that is right for you and right for the community that you are fighting for. We've been providing uh, shelter for the uh, abandoned uh, members of the LGBT group. We still continue to provide sexual health program. At the same time, we still provide paralegal service to those members of the LGBT who are facing abuse by the authority in Mindanao. And at the same time, we also provide like relief goods because there's a lot of members of the LGBT in Mindanao who works in an informal economy. So during the pandemic, they are the ones who, who are greatly affected. So we just try our best to uh, bring all our allies together, our friends, our communities, and try to persuade the local government and the national government and even the interna international organization to, uh, to help out, to help whatever they can give. May, may it be donation, may it be in an access to a certain resources. All of these small things that they have contributed have created a bigger program for the Mujer LGBT. And that has reached a lot of uh, members of the LGBT community, not just in Sambuanga region, but also in Basilan. I have been targeted left and right by many communities, not just with people who are against with the LGBT community, even the LGBT community itself and the human rights defenders community itself. Four years ago, I started getting a lot of death threats from the Muslim communities in Mindanao because I have been pushing a lot of programs for the abuse members of the LGBT community who are from the, uh, who are from, you know, in the Muslim region or who are Muslim itself. The Philippines is generally a Catholic dominating country and the Muslim community are the minorities and we are and the Muslim people are being perceived internationally especially in the Philippines as someone who are you know aggressive who are not into human rights who are not into equality. A lot of human rights defenders here in the Philippines and even some of the members of the LGBT community have said that I have invited the violent to myself because why would I try to promote the idea that Muslim LGBT communities can get an equality? There are times as a human rights defenders that I try to question myself if am I doing the right thing? Am I doing the things that benefits everyone? Am I doing something that really create a greater impact to the community that I fight for? And I think this question helps me assess of what needs to be done and what 
more I could give in a way. I think that's the most Im important part of having or surrounding yourself with right people and right organization that truly supports what you do. To be able to give you that advice whether you are doing the right thing or not because sometimes you just cannot expect to know everything yourself. I've been invited to a lot of uh, human rights forum focus on the LGBT and indigenous people and the Muslim people here in the Philippines. And every time I attend those forums, it feels like I am just there because they just want me to be there. Because they want to present diversity, the obsession of diversity. But actually, we are not being given the opportunity to speak up. It's always essential for me to make documentaries that is focused on human rights, especially on the LGBT Muslims, and to show their stories because I can help other people to tell their story. And I think that is where I'm coming from as a filmmaker, to provide them a platform where they could echo their sentiments to be able for them to say what is unsaid and to let them be on the table you know to create a safe space for them to speak up human rights defenders are also human and we also have personal challenges and a lot of people ex expect so much from us that when the time comes that we are the one who wouldn't be needing help, we don't know where to run to. And I think that's the challenges there when it comes to mental health, uh, accessibility to peace and security, and support when it comes to policy lobbying in the region, and support to all the programs that we are implementing on the ground. For the last few years, we were really having a hard time to persuade the Islamic government in Bangsamoro to recognize, at least recognize for now, recognize the violence towards the LGBT community in Bangsamoro or in armed conflict area. And just last year, we were able to achieve that where the Islamic government have passed a resolution recognizing this violence towards the LGBT community in the Muslim-dominated area. And I think that was really a monumental achievement that we have been trying to lobby and fight for in Mindanao. But now there are these small groups that are, you know, organizing their own groups and, 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 and trying to voice out. And I think those are the small victories that I think I can be proud of that for the past few years we have achieved. And I just want to say that the youth is the future. We cannot expect the old people to do our job, but I could expect that the future will be bright for the LGBT community in the Muslim-dominated region.